You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Time to check out the Zig and Go Music Action Reaction. Now, I do need to say thanks to Jekko for sending this to me to show you a video I read somewhere or I was watching something. It's kind of like Gecko, but Jekko. At least that's what I think it is. All right, this is a 52 piece set, ages 8 to 99. Now, you may have seen this. In another video because we were uh, featuring it and I thought well this would be a fun one to check out being that uh, I am musically inclined we'll see if that makes a difference all right not much there that I can actually read it looks as though you're making this metal marble travel around making musical sounds and different things here's a gong uh, let's see that one goes that way actually zig and go all right so it can go travel all the way around there's a, a bell Let's see. Let's see what's on the back. All right, there's a lot there. So I get the 52-piece set. Uh, a game of chain reactions, construction, reflection, imagination. Ooh, I like all of those things. Compatible, compatible with the other kit. So there's obviously more to it. You could scan this here, and I was told there's some videos you could check out. But, you know, when I make videos... I don't look at other videos, I wait. I wait to see what I learn from it as I'm opening it and checking it out for the first time. Now this set was sent to me special. It was already uh, opened at some point. So this is not how it originally would arrive to you. This was just because it was a, an emergency and I needed it for another video. Okay, there's my gong, very cool. I actually have real gongs, like a big gong in my collection. Here's the little bell on wheels. Hey, that rolls pretty good. All right, here's this. That looks like it's for the gong. Looks like this was already partially set up. I also have wind chimes. So all this stuff is stuff that uh, you would get uh, if you like to play percussion or instruments like that. Ooh, that's, that's pretty cool. But just feeling everything in my fingers. It's really soft to the touch and just uh, has a nice finish to it. Okay, I can do my nails, but it's soft. Okay, there, there. There's another bell or a little chime. The little hammer. Okay, a couple other nice pieces. Here we go. Everything is just nicely finished. I did get a chance to take a quick look at the website. There are a lot of neat items. Maybe they'll send me more, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Okay, and then this is like a, some kind of flexible rubber band there. And lots of little blocks. Now this one has the little zigzag pattern. That one's got another cool look to it. All right, let me just kind of lay it all out. Okay, this one's like a little ramp. Okay, so these are all the same. No patterns, just a nicely finished little block. Okay. Okay, there's another little shape and design on that one. A little mallet. Ding! Okay, so there's three wood marbles and three metal. Okay, here's another colored block. Colored block. All right, there's two more nicely colored blocks. Looks to be like little stands. Ooh, even more colored blocks. Okay, there. So I think I got it pretty well organized. And then that is everything in the box. Okay, so looking at this now, you can, oh, that looks really tactical. Okay, so here is like a complete setup. And then it's showing the first step. See, and then it's gonna knock that over, push the bell, ding the bell, hit that, and work its way around. So that's one complete setup. And then it shows you all the steps to finally catapult into the gong. That's going like that. And it looks like they give you other little things you can build and ideas. 
Okay, so what do we do? Well, I think we should start with the first one. At least get that under our belt. It's the big one. Why not? So let me reorganize here, come back and see if I can at least get steps one through six set up before I do anything else. See, this kind of goes, turns around on that arc, hits this, knocks the marble, hits this, this flips over, hits something here, rolls down, hits those, this spins around, hits this, comes back, hits the little car with the hammer, shh, drops down, and that's 14. Step 15, it looks like the hammer hits that and knocks the marble into the gong. Is it possible? I'm sure it is. Let's see if I have enough room here. I'm going to expand this just a little and we'll get started. Okay, I was like, well, what am I doing? Why not just start? Everything is here. So I'm going to move a chunk of this off to the side. Now, I don't think it really matters as to which blocks. They kind of show, like, the different block. Should I use the one that it actually pictures? I might as well, I guess. I don't think it's as important. But if you look at the first step, it's this piece. There's a marble that sits here. So now, I don't know, I have to see how they, how it stays. It's partially your table, right? Needs to... Ooh, okay, well, I'll tell you what. I got these in order of size, so let's get these on. So it's not like a stretchy band. It's going this way. It's like a string. Okay, so as each level, so that's why I set these up as the smallest to the largest, because then as the marble travels down, it hits the end of the little... Chime, yeah, that's what I wanted to call it. All right, come on, get down here. Okay. So, with these kind of setups, you really want to make sure everything is adjusted right. Let's just test this part of it. It's going to go ding, ding, ding. Okay, very cool. So we got that right. Now balancing the marble on the end, I can't tell if there's something that holds it. Oh, there's like a little spot, like a perfect little spot. And this acts like a, almost like a pendulum. And then where's the other piece, the angled piece? Where are you at? Oh, there it is. So then this kind of goes underneath it. So just enough. So when this, something hits this, the two blocks, wait, I'll show you. So you have this block. This starts it. So you want some distance there. Let's just see. Okay. Test number one. Which you can't see. So let me back this up. Okay, can you see over there now? There we go. I'm going to definitely have to make some camera adjustments. So this knocks into this. And then hits this, flips this. This should hit the ball or the marble and then work its way down. Let's just do step one. Okay, so that works. So we know that much. So let's set that up again. See all the way over there, but I think you get the idea. Now the next step, let's just get the camera zoomed in there. Okay, so they show a tall one. It's really hard to see from the picture, but there's something inside here that the marble hits. It's really hard to tell from the picture what this is. I cannot tell. It does not look like another block. If it does, it looks like a block turned this way. So I'm just going to have to guess on that. So that's where the marble comes in. It's going to hit the block that's in there. I think like this. I don't know. We'll have to test that. And then this one is right next to it. Okay. 
And then working our way this way now, there is another block this way. And then a ramp, one of these. I don't know which one. It's really hard to tell from the pictures exactly. It's going to be one of these two ramps. It's not this one. I guess it's one of these. So that the wheels of the little car sit here. Hmm. What holds that? I don't know. Okay. We have to learn. Oh, okay. So now let's bring this back. It's going to take some setting and resetting. Let's just see. Here we go. First test. Okay, so that's not enough to hit it. So let's just test this part of it. But unless there's something else that's in there, it's really hard to tell from the instructions. I'm just going to test this here and see if this is what's going on. Maybe it's just got to barely touch this and that needs more to fall on the bell. Let's see. Yep, I think that's it. And then when it hits it, so let's sit this one a little further back. Let's uh, zoom in there a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm setting up. I'm going to set this right next to it. Bring this back in. Get it right in there. Oh yeah, that's good. That should be enough now. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to keep practicing. i got to remember though to bring the camera back for you. So let me do that. Let's zoom back out. And then step one and step two. We're a little closer now. We just need the car to travel. So here we go. Uh, boy, I can't wait to get the whole thing. All right, here we go. And action. Ooh, it wasn't enough. So let me back this away and do this and see what the distance needs to be, right? It's all about that distance. There. Let's just roll this down. Ooh, it's not enough. Hmm. Let me work on that section a little bit. So it's going to be a lot of trial and error, trial and error, I guess. What's going to get the car, this bell car, to roll? Let's just see. No. A little further back. No. No. It wants to keep falling the other way. Hmm. Got the instructions a little closer. You know, I have it set up exactly like they have it. So, let's just try one more time. Maybe further back. Well, why don't you want to fall straight? Work with me. Let's zoom this out so you get the full effect. Ooh, it wasn't enough. I'm 
try it again. Yeah, it's just not enough to to get it rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's see. Maybe closer. No. Hmm. Yeah, I have it exactly the way they show it. Maybe it's just got to be on there so precise. Let's see. Like where it's just ready to roll. Like that. Okay, I think we're closer. Let's set it up again. Tell you what, I'm going to bring it all closer to me so I'm not reaching. It rolled on its own that time. I think it's got to be pretty precise. Okay, let's test this roll. Here we go. Ah! Oh. It's so close. All right, I think we'll get it. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to move everything out of the way. I think I'm a little overwhelmed with everything. I'm going to do it all the way, kind of just focus on this right in the middle. Okay, I am back. And remember, we set the first section up. Now, what I did and what I'm going to do, because precision is key from what I'm understanding, looking at the instructions. Now, they give you the initial build. Like here, you can actually scan that and go watch the video. And then they show you what's going to happen through each stage. But they give you some step-by-step -step instructions here, like the distance for each of these little sections here. So we're going to, the distance from this one to the tip of there. And then we got this set up. Now I have it pretty close. I will verify everything before I do my first major run. But they show you smiley face, unhappy face. So now I'm here, but there's a discrepancy here in this picture to this picture. So they show it right next to it here, but here they don't show it right next to it. Happy face here, uh, happy face here, but look, it's touching, it's not touching. So what do I do? Well, I'm going to make it touching. So I will take the first block, touch it here, and then they want it from here. I got to get a tester block. They want this left edge to touch that edge. Ooh, they use a plain one there. I don't think the color matters, but let's try to keep it as close to what they have as possible. So they show you here. So the left edge to the right edge. So that's where that goes. And then the same thing for this one. You want to try to keep them as straight as possible. So left edge to right edge. Now, I'm guessing, I'm just guessing, that it's going to take more than a few tries. So let's just take this piece of tape here, let's put it down here, and then I can set it up the same place every time, and I don't have to remeasure. Okay. And then this, they show this right here, perpendicular. They even show a T-square in there. They want it as perpendicular as possible. So wherever this ends is where I needed to start this outer run here. 
So let's just, here, let's do this. Let me show you this first step. And then where this ends is where I'm going to start the next one. All right, so I have this marked. Yeah. So this is going to hit this, hit this. This is supposed to be almost touching. I showed in the picture, almost touching. Where is that? Uh, where did that go? Okay, just they show this, 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 and then, hmm. Oh, right here. Look, just touching. So that's the way I have it. All right, so let's see, and then I'll try to turn the camera so you can get a better shot. Or I'll tell you what, let me bring the camera up so you can see where this far right one ends. Here we go. Okay, so right about here. So that's where this one is going to start, right? Let's set that up again. See, now I can just do this quickly. And I know exactly where everything is. There's no guessing. Now, it's right about here. Wait, I forgot what this was. Uh, no, it's not these. Not paying attention. Next step. Okay, so this rolls this way. And it hits a tall one. So let's assume right there and this marble here. All right, let's see if that works. If that works, then we're pretty good. Okay. Now I could just set this up exactly where it is, exactly where it is. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to see if this ends where it's supposed to end. Okay, so I'm a little bit off. We want this to kind of hit right here. Let's just see how accurate this is. This one back here, then this one, and then this one. Then this right here. Okay. Put the car back, the bell car, this up, and then my guess is going to be a lot of setting up and resetting up, so that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. What do you think? Okay, here we go. We hope it hits on the far right now. Oh, you can barely see it. Let's do that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that is perfect. Let me mark this. So what I've been doing is just taking tape, making a little tab on the end so I can Take it off my countertop easily, just kind of folding over a little tab and then putting it down where it needs to go. And then I can mark the, let me get the marble in here, where this goes and the foot goes. So I know those two spots. All right. Let me get ready for the next step. I just want to study that, look at that, and then I will continue on. I will be back. So we've got to this point where this hits and rolls. Then marble there. They're showing you good, bad, good, bad. And then there's a ramp with one block underneath it. Now I notice there's a couple discrepancies from the main picture. This they show this pretty far away here, and then 
A couple pictures are a little off compared to what they show in two spots. I'll have to find another one for you. And then, all right, so now this is shown away from the ramp here, right? Happy, sad. So we need to get this up here. And this pushes against it. I, I moved everything. See, this is why I put my, my marks where I put them. Okay, and then I'm guessing this has got like a like like a metal marble in there. And this has got to hit it and then flip down, right? And then okay, so they show from the bottom of the ramp one block this way. That's the distance. And then you put your first block this way. Do you see that? You could see that bottom left corner. Alright, so that's that. So now let me move. Well, I'll tell you what. How about we just test that, right? It's always best to test. So let me bring this up again. And we'll see if it does its thing. And then we know we got this part of it right. Oh, sorry. Car is supposed to roll down. Okay, we're good. Let me set that back up. Move on to the next section. Okay, next section. There's a block there. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five blocks. Then one of these. And then another one. I'm gonna have to mark each of these because at this point, like I said, precision is key. And then another one. All right, tape, little tab. I know, it's crazy, but I'm thinking, as I was getting set up originally, I'm like, this is gonna take time. Make sure it's right, because you don't wanna Okay, right there. Okay, that solves that. Now, they don't give this in the instructions, but I think it's crucial if you're going to keep doing this. All right, so now the opposite side is this. Oh, so let me get the distance. So it's this little platform and like a tongue depressor. Isn't that what that is? Touching there. Okay, and then this one on the outside. Okay, now this one. Now these I could just kind of visually match. I might still put one in. Hmm, I got my colors messed up. Oh, there it is. Okay, so visually speaking, I think it's pretty close there, there, and there. Let me just double check. It's best to be certain. Okay. And there's, wait, there's one more. I'm not doing something right here. Oh, well, let's just mark those. We know that's the next do 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 the domino effect. One, two, three, four. Slide this back in. Okay. What's next? Okay, so there's a it looks to be a block down and then a block up on the next ramp, like this. Okay, so then there's the car. With the little hammer. 
And then next to that is touching. Why don't you want to stay? Stay. Stay? Okay, don't stay. Let me just uh just doing a little reassignment here. <laughs> okay, why don't you stay? That's not good. I think I need to mark this one once I get it set. Ah. Then there's a block here. Hmm, don't think I have that right. I think this needs to be back a little. So that this leans up against it. Oh, Ooh, almost hit that one. All right, let's test this. Okay, this is finicky. A tad finicky. The wood is so slippery. Okay. Then this here. Alright, i tell you what. Let me double check everything now. I think we can at least get to that stage because there's only the last stage, the gong and the other piece. Okay, so they have a specific measurement for that. It's one long one and one this way. Then you put this piece in. Then flip and it hits the gong. Happy. I want to be happy. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We're almost there. We might as well just set the rest of it up, right? So let's use, this is our gauge. And I'll mark a few more things. This here. What did they show? I'm confused. Okay. And then one sideways. And then this right in line with it. Like that. Tape. Well, first, let's tape this platform. I think I'm going to struggle with this the most. Okay. Let me just clean this up just a little bit. I think it's going to hit it. I'm going to have to study this little section a little more. Let's just mark this here. We'll mark this block here. And then take this out. And then mark that there. My guess is there are going to be some adjustments here, but we'll see. And then we'll just mark the bottom block from here to here. Okay. Now the gong. The gong, gotta put the feet on. Okay, and then hang the gong. Ding! Now 30 to, four, was it 40 to 50 centimeters? I'm just gonna put it back because you don't want this to hit it. I'll double check that measurement. So I think, actually, let's get this one back. We're gonna have something now. If it's gonna work, I don't know. Make a few adjustments to this and this. This is all set. What do you think? What do you think? So what's supposed to happen is this is supposed to press down and then that ball is supposed to flip up and hit the gong. What do you think? Is it going to happen? I don't know. Well, we have to test it just to see where we're at. So let's do a quick test. Here we go. And action.
Okay, so that didn't work. Let's just finish it. Okay, that didn't work. Let's reset this up. So I'll stop, come back, reset it up, test it again. All right, here we go. Test number two. Let's see if we get a little further this time. I think we got it. Here we go. Oh. So it failed right away. Why? You know? Why, why, why? Is it that delicate? I don't know. I'm going to keep running, rolling the camera. Because now that we have everything marked, I could just kind of like set it right where it was, right? Okay, you may not be able to see over there, but you know I'm kind of tipping. Hmm. Okay, this is what could happen now. It's like a triggering effect. You get one thing touched. And everything breaks down. I can't imagine those massive uh, domino sets and then someone actually... I know they have breakers in there that stop it at some point and I put those in at the end. Alright, here we go. Let's try it again. Hmm. Alright, let me set it all up again. Okay, cameras are rolling. Here we go. Let's try it again. I can't believe this is the fail point. I don't know why. I'm guessing it's depending on where the little ball is on the inside. If it's to the right, kind of shimmies to the right. You would think this would be the, the non-failing point. I'll tell you what, I'll just set this one up while I got you here. But my guess is, at some point I'm just going to have to stop and keep testing. Okay. This is probably why it's better to do all this off camera so you can... Why don't you want to stick? There. Let's reset this up, this up. Don't forget to set the other stuff up. Ooh, I gotta get this one out. It's hard to reach when you got that car. I'll have to readjust that now. Okay, that should hit that, that should hit that. Let's get this in here. This should be easy. One, two, three. This a little further back. This here. This here. Okay. Last attempt without me stopping. So what I'll do is after this attempt, I'm going to stop, set up, keep doing attempts until I get it right. I'll keep track of how many. Here we go. One, two, three. And everything set. Everything set. Go. Hmm. All right. I'll be back after it's all set up. I just figured out something. I thought I had put it in. There's supposed to be a block 
under here. I was just looking at the picture going, hmm, the hammer didn't fall right. That makes sense now. Okay, so we're a little closer. It actually worked pretty good that time. That was only my third attempt and I'm sort of tweaking everything, you know. So what happens is it needed to fall and then the hammer will, see, totally my fault. I have the book right here and I was looking at it going, hmm, something incorrect. Fix, must fix. But see now, watch how quick everything sets up. Get the red card in. Oh, it was it felt so good. We were so close. Oh, this ended way off here. Let me bring these in a little. Okay. We know that's going to hit. That marble's up there. This needs to be here. I put this a little further to the outside. It might just be slightly off and touching. Okay, and then this one, I put just a little bit offset. There, just so that it just taps it. All right, there we go. That was a full roll, don't stop. Let's get this whole thing in the picture now. So you could see everything this time. All right, there we go. Let's get this out of the way and action. <laughs> not in action. Let me set it up again. All right, here we go. This is attempt number four. And it failed on the first domino set. All right, that's pretty sad when you can't even get past step one of the fall. All right, here we go. Uh, why is that doing that? I mean, it's hitting just right. It's just not enough speed going around like the car. Hmm, I wonder if that is set up wrong because the picture was different. Remember, it was a little further away, but let me set it all up again. Attempt five. All right, this is take seven, five, six, seven. This is number eight, here we go. What? That was it, that was perfect. It did not, mm. okay. Let's set it all up again and let's try take number nine. What happened here is this kind of hit but it just wasn't enough pressure. What is that? You almost need to put something sticky underneath it, under the back end so that, there. Yeah, I don't know. I'll try one more time, but I think you need something to hold that down. Otherwise it moves. All right, let's try it for a take nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, take nine. Okay, take nine, here we go. No comment. It's a problem when it's failing at its first junction point. You take that as take nine. So now we're on take ten. Okay, here we go. 
Take 10, action. Oh, it hit the gong that time. It just tapped the gong. Okay, take 11. All right, take 11. No comment. Okay, I did a little switcheroo here and I turned this block this way. Cause it seems like it hits the stand and the ball bounces back this way. It should hit more of the ball and push it forward. And I think we're set. The only issue now is why did it not set it off the last time? So here we go. Take, uh, let's see, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. Take 13, so this will be 14. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. All right, next take. I've lost track, 15 or 16. Let's see what happens. <laughs> if that's in the indi any indication, I'm in trouble. Here we go. Okay, I turn that back. Because obviously my idea did not work. I think I'm on take 5, 10, 15, 16, or 17. There was one in there that was a fail. 18, I didn't even show you because it was just a bad fail. Here we go, everything's in place. That's take 19. Not giving up. This is take 20. Here we go. Okay, this time I've angled it against the ball. So no matter how it hits, it's got to push it. It has to. I don't know, it just seems like when it hits it, it slides the block over as opposed to knocking the block. Let's try it again. This is take number 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22 times. Here we go. Okay, so obviously this is very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's got to be so exact that you could be here for hours trying to figure that positioning out. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, 23. This is take 24. close. Now, I don't know if I'm going to show you all 24 takes, but... Alright, let's see what happens. Make sure the cameras are rolling. My luck, I'll have the camera off and it'll work perfect, right? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. Try again. Try again. I'm going to set the whole thing up with you now because then you can see what it takes to go through all the steps. Now, I did something tricky there because it was the only way I noticed that I could get it to work. And it was just because I propped the ball way back. Which is probably not what you're supposed to do, but something's going on. And then I'm going to put some sticky down on my counter.
The cars are the hardest thing to set. Let's do that last. Let's get these in. <laughs> As you all know, I'm a pretty precise person. I like to make sure everything... Okay, so as you all know, I'm a pretty precise person, right? You've seen many of my videos. I like to set things up just the way they show and the... Whatever. Do the instructions as best I can, as close to what they show as possible. So, I don't think it's because I'm not being precise. see a lot of my arm. So while I'm going to take after take, this is what I have to go through each time. So I'm in about two hours already. That seems very fidgety. Now what I did here... Oh, I've moved now. See? That whole platform shifted. Okay. And then... I put this on the outside and then I took this marble and I leaned it up back as far back as it would go against the block. It took a few times to get it right. Like that. Like that. So it's further back on this little stand. There. That's what I did. Well, it's probably not going to stay. I probably should have set this up first. Okay, then the car. Then this. And then some sticky. That's the only thing I don't have. Let me grab that. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Put a little of this on the bottom. Can you see that? I can't tell. I can't see. And put it there. And voila! There we go. Action! Everything's gonna work perfect. This is it. This is the take. And go! Let's set 30 something, 30 tries. Uh, for whatever reason, it seems like the block's better this way. <laughs> okay, and one, two, three, action! Action again. Let me set it back up. Okay, so this is lined up better. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do after this. It's just not, it's not working with me. Here we go, and action. Hmm. It's got to hit it pretty hard. Maybe if I could just set it like this. 
I don't know. Let me set it up again. It's uh, take 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, I think. I don't know. There's been some fails in the middle, or I started setting some up, and it triggered one thing, and it set the whole thing off, you know. All right, I'll be back. Okay. I hate to say this is my last attempt, but I think this is my last attempt. We will see. It's up to 30-something. Uh, it's ah, just too much to explain going on here. All right, here we go. Let's make sure everything is just right. See, that's an attempt, right? So I've had a few of those, which I just left off camera, because at this point, you don't need to see that. Here we go. Okay, now, I can't get past stage one. Here we go. Let's see. Hmm. What could that be now? Oh, oh, oh that's what happens. It's like you touch one thing and everything falls apart. Alright, you stay there. You get put back on here. You get put up here. Okay, so this is my last, last attempt, at least to get the ball to fire. If it hits the gong at this point, I'm okay. Here we go. Did you hear it? Woo, it did it out of bounds, but I'm okay with that. Oh boy, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take a little mental break here and uh, cameras are rolling, thank goodness, and I will come back and wrap it up with you. So I left it the way you saw it. I'm going to try to do some editing because I did have another camera running off to the side. I don't know how many are going to end up as the attempts, but I would say you definitely need to be somewhat methodical the way you set it up. And like I did the little pieces of tape along the different sections to mark the blocks. And then I don't know if you saw it, but to make it shoot or launch, I took a tiny little, now they're probably not going to like this, but I took a tiny little piece and I put it under here. Remember, I had to secure this, and then that was there, and that gave it a little less need for the snap. Now, that's probably why maybe it, it bounced. I'm not sure, but I needed to get to that end result, because, you know, until I did that, I don't think I would have ever stopped trying. All right, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 35, maybe 40 tries in total to get it right. So there you go. It is the zig and go. Thanks for sending it to me again. I do appreciate it. I had fun doing it, honestly. It took some time. Got a little frustrated there a few times. You know, you kind of hit something with your finger and it sets the whole thing off. But I guess that's part of the fun. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.